friends. I hope you're having a splendid day. I know I sure am. Let me just take a moment and hang up my coat. <sighs> you know, I was on my morning walk and I ran into an old friend of mine, Jan. Jan is a florist. Do you know what a florist is? Zoe, it's well, time for school. Florist, Turn that off, please. Bye, Mom. Please. Go get ready for you school. Your uncle can floor. tell you what happens later. What is it you're going to be doing on the show again? Floor director. And yes, I will get to hang out with Mr. Mayfield on the show. You're the luckiest guy in the whole wide world. Tell him I say hi. Oh, and get an autograph. I'll try. Now go and get ready, Peta. You excited to be back? Yeah. Just ready to start a new chapter in life, at least. I'm just hoping this is the best way to get my foot in the door. Well, if your dream is to get your stories on film, you gotta start somewhere. We'll be fine. I'm just more nervous than anything. It seems like these Mr. Mayfield guys take this stuff really seriously. What do you mean? It's like real-world professional TV biz stuff, and they're putting me in as floor director? I'm just... Nervous is all. Owen, you will be fine. No, you better hurry, you're gonna be late. Chicago traffic is even worse than since you were gone. Good luck! See you later, Zoe! Love you, Uncle Owen! And remember, tell Mr. Mayfield hello for me! Oh God! I'm no, sorry. No, that's fine, that's fine. Um, do you have any? Yeah, yeah, of course. Here. Where's the fire? Oh, I, I just worried I was late. I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Are you new here? First day. <laughs> ah, you know, the last person who was new and late on a first day, they fired. <laughs> Uh, which department do you work in? I work for the network president. Mr. Landon, right? Yeah, you've been doing your research. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, there's no need to be nervous. How about you? Uh, floor director for Mr. Mayfield. You can't tell I'm nervous, can you? No. But you do have syrup all over your tie. <laughs> Better? You look better without a tie anyways. <laughs> oh. With all due respect, Mr. Landon, I don't want to write about that. I want to... But I didn't hire him as a writer. I hired him... Yeah, I understand that. Mr. Landon, I can't... You gotta be kidding me. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I think I might be in the Can wrong. I help you? Uh, I'm looking for the studio where Mr. Mayfield was filmed. Ah, yes, you must be. Owen Morris. I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm late, but. Don't I, worry about it. I'm used to that around here. I'm Arthur Dolchow. We spoke on the phone. It's nice to finally meet you. Great. Uh, it's nice meeting you in person, too. I, I, I'm so excited to be here. I, I really, really appreciate this opportunity. Yeah, it will be a good change for us. Much needed. Are you okay? I, I Sorry about that. I'm all right. Landon's just Landon. Thinks the stuff I write isn't exciting enough. I think it's great. My niece loves the show. She watches it every day. Really? Do you not like the show? Honestly, no. The writing's awful. But aren't you the writer? Well, yeah. I'm, I'm confused. Well, let me put it this way. Land is all about making money. He doesn't care about teaching kids. I mean, kids aren't dumb. Well, they are dumb, but it's not their fault. Maybe I can help. <laughs> let me show you around. An extreme close up. Well, I don't know, but Q24, they need that to turn that up and then pull back a little bit. I agree. It's because it's I'm going to be on the <clears throat> These are the camera guys, Johan and George. Uh, you're in Pennsylvania, right? Well, Penn just State. Went to, just went to school there. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right, cool. How did you know? 
Uh, I know things like the time and the coach and the time. You must be George. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. Pleasure to meet you there, Omar. Well, it's Owen, actually. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. You'll get used to it. So when do I get to meet him? Meet who? Ace Donovan. My niece is a huge fan. Why? The guy's one of the most pompous, arrogant douchebags I've ever met. Are we talking about the same guy? The guy who plays Mr. Mayfield. I'll give the man a credit. He's a good actor in his own right. But we are talking about a man who one of the Hollywood elite said he wanted ripped apart by four silverback gorillas. <laughs> what? Who said that? Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Like, Wilson! Tom Hanks? So Johan is telling me that there's a new guy on set? Owen something? <laughs> you better be cute. Yeah, he also said he went to school to write. So let's hope he can do something about getting me some more lines on the show. More lines? Five years of being the same old, same old. Mare's at the mail carrier. What do we have today? I think I deserve some recognition here instead of some prick. Don't worry, everyone. Ace is here. Hi, Ace. Paula, God, you look sexy. What I wouldn't give for five minutes with, uh, Michelle. I think we can do something about that face. We don't want our viewers running away, you know what I mean? Oh, that's hilarious, Ace. How do you come up with such fresh material? Uh, it's hard. Say, anyone see the uh, newspaper this morning? Oh, weird. I, I happen to have a few copies. Uh, why don't you just check the, yeah, just the front page, just the cover. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Huh? My face, front page. Tom Hanks ain't got nothing on me, baby. This is a story about a bus fire. You're, you're in like the background of the picture. The background. I think you're great at it, Ace. Oh, honey. You're an embarrassment. Oh, sweetheart, don't listen to her. She's just jealous because everyone craves me. <laughs> but, you know, you and I, we're the gorgeous ones. You look at Michelle, she's got to wake up every morning with that face. Oh boy, have I had this much? Enough oh, of you! Right, enough. Michelle, go read some lines. What lines? And Paula, they do pay you to work for me. And she's gone. And this is Ace Donovan. Everyone knows who I am, Arthur. You don't have to introduce me. It's nice to finally meet you. I'm a huge fan of yours. Duh. What are you, the new guy? I'm Owen. Yeah, that's great. Listen, you stick with me, you're going to go places. Yeah, like a drunk tank at 5 in the morning? Oh, don't get jealous because you can't do what I do. Ace, I have no idea how anyone can do what you do. Oh. Mr. Dollchild, your ex-wife is here to see you. Son of a... Owen, I'll meet you in the writer's room to talk about the episode. So during the episode, there's going to be a fire. Mr. Mayfield is going to talk about the equipment that a firefighter uses, blah, blah, blah. So you'll need to get the equipment to him off screen. Meredith is going to be in, and she'll yell, fire, Mr. Mayfield. Fire, Mr. Mayfield. Then I want you to give Ace the axe. Fire, ax. Mr. Mayfield. So give Ace the axe. Got it. Give Ace the axe. They're going to fire Ace. Secret? Of course, what's up? It's the new guy, Oren. Otis. Otis. Owen. Omar? Owen. Whatever. I heard him talking to Arthur. They said they were gonna fire Ace. Owen's gonna fire. Shh! Put down. I thought he was just the floor director. Well, I know what I heard. The new guy, he's gonna fire Ace. Now, we need to keep this just between the two of us, okay? Okay, I, I promise. All right. <laughs> Michelle, did you hear Ace is getting fired? Hallelujah! Yeah, Arthur, he was talking to the new guy about how to get rid of him. But I thought he was the floor director. Yeah, that's what I thought. But obviously Mr. Landon brought him in to fire Ace. <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life! Nice knowing you, Ace. Wait, 
Wait, does he know yet? Can I be the one to tell him? Absolutely not. Nobody knows, so just try to keep it down, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> and if Ace is getting fired, then it can only mean one thing. More lines for me. Miss Meredith Street. I can live with that. But Ace is the best. Yeah, I can't believe they would do this to him. I don't know what kind of spell that man has the two of you under, but you need to snap out of it right now. Wonder Boy is out of here. Hey, Ace isn't so bad. I just can't believe they would replace him with another well, actor. Well, they are, so... Another actor? Another actor? I, I hadn't thought about that. Oh, I swear, if I have to play second fiddle to some Ryan Reynolds-looking douche again, I am going to lose it! Intern, go find out more from Johan. Wait, wait. I want to do this myself. Paula, come. Hello, beautiful. Hey, troll. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to let you have that one. It's not like you're going to get many more. Hmm. What does she mean by that? Ace. I'm so sorry. What, what the hell are you talking about? A new guy, Ace. Owen. Hotshot! He's gonna fire you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did you hear this? I don't know, Ace. Look around! Everybody's talking about it. And guess who they're bringing in? Who? Our name's Seacrest. Seacrest? Bastard! How does a guy have so much time to steal every actor's job? Ugh. He's got great hair. I'll do whatever it takes. What, what do you want me to do? I'll help, I'll help you out. How can I help you? Don't worry about me. Because you know what? If I go down, everybody's going down. We need a plan, intern. Let's go make it. I know what the show is about. Certainly. It's Mr. Mayfield. Yes. Excuse me? Alan? Here's the paperwork Mr. Landon wants you to fill out. Great, thanks. Uh, where do I sign? Uh, yes. And here? Here. And here. Is that all? Yeah, great. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Anything's gonna happen. I need this internship, Ace. You must be kidding me. You're gonna be the first one out of here. You may as well pack your bags. You're done. Look, don't worry. Old Ace is gonna come up with a plan. I'm gonna figure this out. What we need, what do we need? What we need, intern, intern, space. We're gonna put you in the closet. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. You hide in here until everything blows over. Everything if, will be fine. If they can't find me, they can't fire me. That's exactly it. Owen can't fire you if he can't find you. So, closet, let's go. All right. Come on. Ace? Yeah. You're, you're... Yeah. Oh, God. All right. I'll come find you. Fast, Ace. It's gonna get fired. It's gonna be great. Why are you making you right now? Ace, you will be missed. Speak for yourself. Who, me? No, 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 no. It's not just me. It's everyone. Everyone's getting fired. What? Oh, come on. You think they're just gonna let me go? I'm Mr. Mayfield. Without me, there's no show. What do you think? They're gonna give it to ugly Meredith? We're all getting the boot. Oh, please. But Michelle, Michelle, there's no time to be talking about peace. Hey, Ace is right. That's why Arthur and Owen, they've been in the writer's room all day. Exactly. New guy. You busy? No. You can come in. Cool. So. What's your job? Uh, floor director. Ah, that's right. Floor director. Right. So you and Arthur must be getting pretty close. I mean, you guys have been in that writer for a long day, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, Ace, I was wondering if I could get an autograph from you. It's for my niece. An autograph? <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Huh? Don't play dumb with me, 
mind, pretty boy. I know why you're here. Seriously, what are you talking about? Ah, uh, I see how it is. You're gonna play it all close to the best, huh? That's fine. I tell you what, you keep up the act, you'll see. It's a good book. <laughs> yeah? Well, don't tell me how it ends. So what did you do to piss them all off? No idea. They all hate me. Really? Because it sounds like you hate them more. What? No, 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 no. I... I figured. You're a really sweet guy. They just gotta get to know you. They'll come around. I promise. Thanks. Owen, we need you in the studio. Here, put this on. This is a script we went over earlier. Everything you need to give Ace is to the right of the set. Uh, okay. You'll be fine. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, everyone ready on set? Five, four. Hello, friends. I hope you're having a splendid day. I know we sure are here at the studio. My, it was a blustery day. Whew. You know, friends, I want to talk about the importance of friends. We just made a best friend today. His name is Owen. Owen, why don't you say hi to the camera? Uh... That's right, uh, Owen. Come on, Owen. Be a man. <clears throat> you're gonna get what's coming to you, hotshot. Yeah, don't be scared. We, we know, know why you're really here. here. Oh, oh, just take it easy. Not yet. Hello. <laughs> What is going on here? We got this under control, Arthur. Ace, get back to work. What? You mean Ace isn't being fired? And he's not here to evaluate all of us? I regret to inform you all that you all still have jobs here. But Owen is not here to fire Ace. He's not here to evaluate you or me or anybody else. He's just here to do his job which nobody else seems to want to do today. Do my job. Oh. Let me get this straight. You guys all thought I was here to fire Ace. Obviously. Yes! Yes! yes. Pretty much. Oh. Oh. Who told you that? In the break room, do you remember? I don't know how these rumors get started. Idiots! Oh. Oh. See you, man. Sorry about that earlier. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> What's... Holy. Uh, well, looks like your day improved. Yeah. Everything worked out. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. So, Maria, listen, I was wondering if... Hey, you... sexy pants. Hey. I've been thinking about you all day. Oh. Come here. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that tastes good. Yeah. Oh, hey. You know, I, that autograph for your niece. Um, I got a great newspaper article here, and uh, I'd like to give it to her. So, do what I can for kids, you know what I mean? It's all about the kids, kids of the future. So, I want you to make sure she frames it, though, because my autographs are appreciating in value, okay? <laughs> Isn't he sweet? <laughs> hey. All right, we got tickets to the opera, so we gotta go. So, I will see you tomorrow. Said. Yeah, Mom, thanks. You're welcome. Now I'll take care of the dishes. You go get ready for bed. Will you tuck me in? Sure. <sighs> Good night, Zoe. Uncle Owen? Yes? Was Mr. Mayfield nice? Yes. He was 
just like on TV. Will you tell me a bedtime story? Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Zoe. And she was a perfect little girl, except she had one black tooth. Why was her tooth black? Well, Zoe liked to go for walks in the hills by her house. There she picked giant mushrooms. Did she eat them? That's right. She picked them so that she could bring them home for dinner. And one day, when she was picking mushrooms in the hills, something landed on her nose. A butterfly? That's right. She followed the butterfly deep into the forest where she found the largest mushroom she had ever seen. She tried to pick it up, but she couldn't. And then a giant came by. Was it a mean giant? No, he was a friendly giant, but also very lonely. He helped Zoe pick the mushroom and told her that she could keep it if she promised to come back and visit him the same time every year. And for each time she missed, one of her teeth would turn black. And so... Is the coast clear? I'm getting pretty hungry. And I think there's something else living in here. Hello? Ace? 